Just before we reached the gate, the siren started to sound. The Germans closed the gates and they ran for cover. The tables had turned. It was beginning to dawn on us that we hadn't seen a German now for a day or maybe two. Um, the, there was a barbed wire. We were told that there was high voltage in the wire and some Jew was desperate enough to throw himself at the high voltage fence only to discover that there was no high voltage. All the guards disappeared. And three o'clock in the afternoon on April 11th, 1945, two American soldiers walked into a barracks. The Messiah just arrived. Our train was taken into Tadayden, Tadaydenstadt. Was a ghetto of German Jews and Czech Jews, and we were liberated four days later by the Russian army. We had typhoid, had all sorts of diseases. We heard the sound of a tank, very large sound. We thought they're going to kill us there. The first thing we noticed is the turret was not aimed at us. And the soldier jumped out. My father yelled, Americans. The American soldier was a Jew. And he was from Brooklyn. He was our Messiah. And they, everybody singing and yelling and uh, hooting and so forth. By then, I was eight years old. One beautiful spring morning was April 50. We woke up, there's daylight, and there are these soldiers in a different uniform. And they said, you are free. I spoke English. I said, are you sure you are not disguised Germans? No, you are free. Three American tanks and a jeep broke through the gate and they came into the camp. I was 16 years old. The day of liberation was my happiest day and my saddest day because I found out that nobody's around. I'm the only one that at that time that I knew that was alive. We thought we shall be reunited with the men of the family and we didn't realize that they were already dead, that they had been dead for years by then. <laughs> 